Okay, guys, so I just got the awesome new Adams Family from G5K and uh, Slider Point and Third Access and whoever else helped work on that. I got that sucker, and now she's ready and waiting for me on uh, my cab here in Pinup Popper. But that's not what this video is about. This video is all about uh, what I'm calling the Tech Zones update for Pinup Popper 1.4's release. So what that means is you're going to be able to display whatever information you want wherever you want, and you can have it look however you want. So what that means is, for example, you have the home screen here, right? So right now I'm displaying just custom text in a couple areas of whatever I want, basically. So I've got two zones here, for example. I could choose text display here, text to display here. But if I want, I could have different information from Popper's database, depending on what type of wheel is being shown. Now, for example, right here, I have, you know, the, the function or the playlist being shown here and I have uh, the clock, but I can choose to not display that or that and have just text there or whatever else you want. It could be a different font, different color, different size, different position, anything you want. I have eight main text zones that you can do for all the wheel types. So I have one here, one here, one here, one here. Another one here, another one here, another one here, another one there. And they're all, you know, uh, like these ones in the middle are centered. The ones on the side are aligned to the right and left. So they'll automatically, uh, you know, work in their positions as they should. And then you just choose how many characters you want to show. And you can enable and disable any of them you want. It's up to you. However you want to have it, you can have it. So on the home screen, you can see as an example what you see here. Uh, but if you go to like, say, uh, let's go to, I don't know, playlist and oh, oh crap. Uh, okay. Google, the wife is pissed. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for the cat to mute. All right. So, uh, all right. So actually that's not the playlist I wanted, uh, here, let's go there. All right. So if you go into like, for example, inside of a, uh, a playlist menu, and then now if I'm highlighting, for example, uh, a table, a game wheel, for example, then it's going to show specific information. Now I, I showed this before in a previous video, but basically for this one, by default, I have the manufacturer, the year, the actual games name, uh, the playlist we're on, the number of games in that playlist in the emulator. But again, for this wheel type, we have eight different text zones. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I could completely change this up to show whatever I want. So if I didn't want these things here and I only wanted this, that's fine. Or if I wanted to remove those altogether and uh, put just simple text or something, I could do that. Uh, any database information you have for the game, you can display wherever you want and you can use custom prefixes as well. And the other things that uh, you can also display are uh, the popper functions. For example, for played recently, you know, you can have your own custom text for that. Or for most played, you can have your custom text. Or for the favorites in the playlist. Or for going back if you want to have any text. Any function in popper, you get to choose what text is displayed or none at all. It's totally up to you what you do or don't want to see now. And this is really powerful stuff, guys, because now I standardize this so that you guys can use this theme to make it the way you want, or you can create your own themes if you really want, guys. You don't have to use this image. I mean, you can still use a bar if you want and have your own text wherever you want. Uh, you know, it, it's all standardized now. So that way you can uh, much in a much easier way be able to create your own setup without messing with any of the main configuration code or anything. So, you know, it, it's really cool stuff. So if you go into the games menu, now you're going to see we have a whole bunch of other information that you get to see. So for example, now when you're on start screen, you get to see by default, uh, you know, the number of players, the ROM, the authors who, who made uh, the visual pinball table in this case, uh, the type of uh, machine it originally was and the version number. Now this is all taken from Popper's database, which you guys can update very easily or change very easily. It's very, very easy to work with all that stuff. So that's what you can see by default. But again, you have eight different text zones just for this that you can change up what information you want to see, 
how it looks, the font you're using, the color size, everything for each individual zone, not just all of them. And you can choose like these prefixes, for example, you know, you can change up just the prefixes. So if you don't want to have version, you can have just VER or just V or what or nothing if you want. It's totally up to you guys. And you can choose how many characters are fitting in every zone, like everything you want, you guys get to choose. And uh, so, and those other functions, remember I was talking about, like, uh, for example, you got your system menu, you got your uh, record displays, record topper, and then you can tell it, you know, a launch for this and then press whatever, you can change this to whatever button you use to start or stop recording, you know? So you can customize it any way you want, guys. And uh, the other thing I added in was, uh, I'll, I'll call it game details. So this is our, the, the, the game info wheel. So if you uh, highlight that one, this is what you'll see. Now all the database information will pop up. So you can see like, you know, uh, the main game name, manufacturer year, you know, emulator version, uh, machine type, you know, authors, theme, categories, uh, IPD, IPDB number, the, the your own personal rating, you know, uh, uh, features, which in this case is SSF and awesome effingness and uh, the actual file name, the wrong, like, you know, whatever you want to see. And even the, the custom variables that you use for launching, for example. So let's say I wanted to use pin sound on this and I added that. I can see that in here or different run modes, whatever you want to see. So all that stuff is available. And again, you get to choose the, pre, uh, the prefix that shows up or none at all. And you can choose the font for this and the size as well. And the, the positioning, like all of that, you get to choose that again without messing with the main popper code. It's all in the user uh, custom variable section of uh, the config file. So it's not hard. I've made it with full instructions, pretty easy guys. So uh, yeah. So, uh, oh, and also if you have flyers, then I, I set up the this theme, the pup pack by default, so that when you uh, select flyers, then they'll just pop up right there. And you know, they're the, the proper aspect ratio. So therefore they're fitting perfectly and you still get to see your interface. So I, I think that looks really nice. And then if you launch the game, uh, then, well, of course you're gonna get my, <laughs> <laughs> my nasty theme, uh, my load, uh, transparent loading video for this theme. That's why you're getting that. That's not for the Adams family in particular. Uh, but you can see this is the this is our the awesome new table from G5K and uh, Firepoint for Adams family. Simply stunning, a stunning looking table. That look at look at this. Oh my god, man! This thing like just got released today. It is gorgeous. Like look at this. Look at this crap. This is awesome. It's not crap. It's amazing. You know, and look at, look at that fester, man. That dude's awesome. And when you're playing, he like animates and then electrocutes and all this stuff. And you got little, you know, uh, cause in it and, uh, he animates and then you got trains and cars and all this. Stuff. I mean, just a stunningly beautifully done, uh, VPX table, you know, uh, G5K and the rest of the guys did a stunning job on this. And it's just amazing. So what I wanted to show is, uh, actually, so while you're in a game, uh, let's say you don't have uh, many buttons on your cab. You know, like if you wanted to show the flyers, but you don't have a dedicated flyer button, what do you do? Well, here, here's Popper to the rescue again. So, uh, okay, Google, Popper action info. Popper info. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, that's right. You could have your flyers or if you have game instructions, that's another uh, feature for Popper. You could have that pop up as well. You have a choice of doing that or custom uh, batch files or specials or whatever. There's all sorts of stuff you can do by voice and in game like this. So for example, if you have instruction cards or instruction videos, you could have them pop up there. Or maybe if you have a center screen pop up there, or if you're one of these guys who has a, a cool panel here, I've seen some guys have like a, this, a small display screen here and here for instruction cards, or maybe a central one have it pop up there, you know, or even have it pop up on there if you want. Now, again, the reason why that's popping up is because I'm running it on a uh, uh, new win Windows 10 uh, full screen mode, which allows that, you know, uh, legacy exclusive full screen won't allow that. That's not a pop, that's a, uh, not a popper limitation. That's a Windows limitation. But if you're running Win 10 and you're using uh, the normal Win 10 uh, exclusive full screen, then that should work just fine. So, yeah, so I don't know, that's just the, all the stuff I wanted to, to demonstrate basically. You know, so uh, 
Okay, Google. Popper action info. Popper info. There you go. All right. See, now I actually have a button. I just use my my stick here, which has extra controls. But you know, I just wanted to illustrate that for you guys who don't have a button, you do have options to use cool features like that. So uh, yeah, so that, that that's basically what I wanted to show. Uh, you know, and the the wheel and text now fade out. To, if you have that, I don't have it enabled right now, but it will fade out. Uh, if you have that enabled, they'll both go together. So that's not an issue anymore. And uh, yeah, so that's that's the main thing I wanted to show off. So look out for this uh, as part of Pinna Popper's uh, update. This is going to be an optional uh, theme you can install. You don't have to use this. You can still use the, the standard bar if you want. And who knows, maybe there will be a bar with text theme as well as another option. Who knows? That's, that's the whole point of this update. It's much easier to make it your way. And that's what Popper's all about. You know, uh, it, it may not be, uh, you know, uh, as simple to understand how to do all this fancy stuff at first, but the point is the options are there if you want to do it the way you want. And that, that's all I wanted to show off. So uh, keep an eye out for Popper uh, 1.4 update should be out pretty soon. We're you know, the, the beta testing has been going awesome and we're locking it down and, you know, it's getting really close, guys, you know, so uh, just keep an out, eye out for it. Uh, it's awesome. You'll love it. So uh, see you in another video. Thanks, guys.